weekly robot news. Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news robotics. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the robotic tech world. From yoke lifting robots, all robotic surgeries, robots that can hike, to FedEx, DHL, and Jeff Bezos spying robots. So without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right into it. Highlights of the week. Delicate enough to lift egg yolks. Engineering researchers from North Carolina State University have demonstrated a new type of flexible robotic grippers that are able to lift delicate egg yolks without breaking them, and that are precise enough to lift a human hair. The work has applications for both soft robotics and biomedical technologies. The work draws on the art of kirigami, which involves both cutting and folding two-dimensional 2D sheets of material to form three-dimensional 3D shapes. Specifically, the researchers have also developed a new technique that involves using kirigami to convert 2D sheets into curved 3D structures by cutting parallel slits across much of the material. The final shape of the 3D structure is determined in large part by the outer boundary of the material. For example, a 2D material that has a circular boundary would form a spherical 3D shape. The researchers demonstrated the utility of their technique by creating grippers capable of grabbing and lifting objects ranging from egg yolks to a human hair. However, the researchers note that there are a host of other potential applications, such as using the technique to design biomedical technologies that conform to the shape of a joint, like the human knee. First Robot Laparoscopic Surgery Without Help A robot has performed laparoscopic surgery on the soft tissue of a pig without the guiding hand of a human a significant step in robotics towards fully automated surgery on humans. Designed by a team of Johns Hopkins University researchers, the smart tissue autonomous robot, STAR, is described today in science robotics. The robot excelled at intestinal anastomosis, a procedure that requires a high level of repetitive motion and precision. Connecting two ends of an intestine is arguably the most challenging step in gastrointestinal surgery, requiring a surgeon to suture with high accuracy and consistency. Even the slightest hand tremor or misplaced stitch can result in a leak that could have catastrophic complications for the patient. Working with collaborators at the Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C., and Jin Kang, a John Hopkins professor of electrical and computer engineering, Krieger helps create the robot, a vision-guided system designed specifically to suture soft tissue. Their current iteration advances a 2016 model that repaired a pig's intestines accurately but required a large incision to access the intestine and more guidance from humans. The team equipped the STAR with new features for enhanced autonomy and improved surgical precision, including specialized suturing tools and state-of-the-art imaging systems that provide more accurate visualizations of the surgical field. Soft tissue surgery is especially hard for robots because of its unpredictability, forcing them to be able to adapt quickly to handle unexpected obstacles, Krieger said. The STAR has a novel control system that can adjust the surgical plan in real time, just as a human surgeon would. Hiking Robots Eth Zurich researchers, led by Marco Hutter, have developed a new control approach that enables a legged robot, called Enimol, to move quickly and robustly over difficult terrain. Thanks to machine learning, the robot can combine its visual perception of the environment with its sense of touch for the first time. Steep sections on slippery ground, high steps, scree and forest trails full of roots, the path up the 1,098-meter-high Mount Etzel at the southern end of Lake Zurich is peppered with numerous obstacles. But Enimol, the quadrupedal robot from Robotic Systems Lab at Eth Zurich, overcomes the 120 vertical meters effortlessly in a 31-minute hike. That's four minutes faster than the estimated duration for human hikers, and with no falls or missteps. This is made possible by a new control technology, which researchers at Eth Zurich, led by robotic professor Marco Hutter, recently presented in the journal Science Robotics. The robot has learned to combine visual perception of its environment with proprioception, its sense of touch, based on direct leg contact. This allows it to tackle rough terrain faster, more efficiently, and above all, more robustly, Hutter says. In the future, Animal can be used anywhere that's too dangerous for humans or too impassable for other robots. FedEx launches sorting robot with DoraBot. FedEx Express, a subsidiary of FedEx, announced that it's collaborated with DoraBot to launch Door Sorter, a sorting robot. Door Sorter is deployed at FedEx's e-commerce shipment sorting center in Guangzhou, China. FedEx and DoraBot are monitoring the robot and fine-tuning its operations, while also exploring more applications for it. Door Sorter has a 40 square meter reach, 
43 square feet, and can carry up to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds of packages. The robot's gripper is drawer shipped to connect with a conveyor belt. It's equipped with a barcode reader to scan packages and determine their destination. The robot receives packages inwards from a conveyor belt with its gripper. After determining the package's destination, the robot moves it outward to its destination spot. It's capable of sorting packages for up to 100 destinations simultaneously. The use of door sorter helps FedEx to sort a higher volume of cross-border e-commerce shipments, Zhao Bei Deng, founder and CEO of Doorbot, said. It's the starting point of a global collaboration between Doorbot and FedEx. We hope that we can work together to bring AI and robotics applications to more businesses and consumers. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin Acquiring Honeybee Robotics Blue Origin, the suborbital spaceflight company founded by Jeff Bezos, is acquiring Honeybee Robotics for an undisclosed amount. The deal is expected to close in mid-February, and Honeybee Robotics will become a wholly owned subsidiary of Blue Origin. Founded in 1983, Honeybee Robotics is an R&D engineering company that has delivered more than 1,000 projects to government and industrial customers in the spacecraft, planetary exploration, defense robotics, medical devices, mining, oil and gas, and utility infrastructure sectors. It's best known for developing robotic systems for the space industry, including actuators, drills, and sample collection systems for several Mars missions. Honeybee and Blue Origin were already collaborating prior to the deal. In December of 2021, NASA announced that Honeybee Robotics was developing a system for testing vicious bubble behavior in lunar gravity conditions. It could help researchers understand molten regolith electrosis techniques that could be used to extract oxygen from lunar soil. The technology is planned to fly on Blue Origin's new Shepard suborbital rocket system. Boston Dynamics delivering fleet of stretch robots to DHL. Boston Dynamics has landed the first customer for its stretch case handling robots. DHL supply chain is spending $15 million with Boston Dynamics to further automate warehouses in North America. Boston Dynamics will deliver a fleet of stretch robots to multiple DHL warehouses throughout North America over the next three years. Boston Dynamics and DHL have been working closely together the last few years to test and develop stretch. The robot will be tasked with several box moving tasks inside DHL warehouses. The first will be truck unloading at select DHL facilities. At DHL Supply Chain, we are committed to continuous innovation and digital transformation to optimize the end-to-end -end supply chain. Investing in warehouse automation plays an important role in increasing operational efficiency and improving service for our customers, said Sally Miller, CIO, DHL Supply Chain North America. We're excited to partner with Boston Dynamics to deploy its best-in-class robotics in our warehouses. The stretch robot addresses complex industry challenges through flexible automation, which we'll be able to replicate and scale regionally and globally. Stretch is the next generation of Handle, a robot Boston Dynamics introduced in 2017 that combined wheels and legs. Stretch doesn't have legs, but it does have an omnidirectional mobile base with four independently controlled wheels, a custom 7DOF industrial robot arm that can lift up to 50 pounds, a custom suction gripper, and much, much more. Deployment of the first stretch units in DHL warehouses will begin this spring, and DHL plans to gradually scale Boston Dynamics robots for additional tasks across multiple facilities in phases over the next few years. With that, we end today's dose of our weekly updates. Join in next time for more of such exciting news happenings from the robotic world.